It's almost time to upgrade. What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you. And on my channel, that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And as promised, today we are doing a video on how to update your BIOS for the upcoming Ryzen 3000 CPUs if you're not planning on buying any new motherboards, especially because the uh, manufacturers for the X570 uh, chipset appear to be kind of expensive and so we wanna definitely make sure that if you have a motherboard that's currently supported, you know how to update it. AM4 has had some massive backwards compatibility, which is fantastic. And uh, AMD has kept a promise for the most part of making sure that you're able to slap the CPUs in some previous gen um, chipsets from AMD. If you want a full supported list, you're gonna actually have to look it up. Um, there's over 100 different motherboards um, that are not gonna be the X570 or newer chipset that will support the Ryzen 3000 CPU. So the very first thing you need to do is go to your motherboard's manufacturer website for your specific model and see if there is a BIOS version that will support the new CPUs. For my MSI B450 uh, Tomahawk, there is. So there are two main ways that you can update the BIOS in your system, and this is universal, this isn't just for AMD. So the first way is if your motherboard supports it, you can spam delete and get into the BIOS on your system. And there's an actual download and install function uh, baked into the firmware on a lot of these different motherboards. So what you basically do is inside the BIOS itself, you download the newest version for your motherboard. It downloads the file and then installs it right after. And it's pretty straightforward. This is not the first way I recommend doing it, however, because if you have a power loss or an internet loss during the download, or if any of those files are corrupted, it can cause a lot of issues with your motherboard, potentially breaking it in some rare instances. So what I suggest is to do the old manual way. So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna go to the manufacturer website for our motherboard. In this case, again, the B450 Tomahawk. Then we're gonna go to driver support and find the latest BIOS version. You can see here that it specifies it's going to basically be supporting the new Ryzen CPUs. After you manually download this file, you're going to extract it onto something like this, essentially a USB flash drive or something that you can plug directly into the system that can be read in the BIOS. Once you've done that and you've plugged it in, you're going to reset your system, hit delete to get into your BIOS, and then you're going to navigate to flash and you're essentially going to flash the BIOS or install the new version on your motherboard. It's very straightforward because essentially it just identifies now with this USB and the file that's on it. And by running it, you're able to install it directly to your motherboard without any risk of losing internet connection or having any corruption of files, obviously, because you downloaded it directly from the manufacturer's website. Now, after the installation is installed, your system's gonna reboot, and then there is one final step that a lot of people forget when they do a new BIOS update. You need to go back into your BIOS settings because anything that you had overclocked is no longer gonna be. It's gonna be at stock settings because it essentially resets everything. So you need to apply any power settings, any overclock settings or extra settings you had, maybe like XFR on the motherboard to make sure that that's all as it was before you updated your BIOS. Now, typically I don't recommend updating your motherboard unless there's been some specific like security reason or it's absolutely necessary as it is in this particular situation. Otherwise, keep your current version of your, uh, your BIOS if it works, there's really no reason to upgrade it at all. But in this way, if you're planning on buying a new Ryzen CPU coming out in seriously just a month, I'm super excited. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a new, brand new motherboard unless you want to take advantage of the you know better power delivery XFR and then PCI Gen 4.0 that's going to be coming out with the X570 chipset. So anyway guys I hope this was helpful for you guys who have been wondering how to update your motherboard so they're ready for the new Ryzen CPUs coming out right around the corner. If you like this video go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up. If you thought it sucked go and leave me a thumbs down. Remember to get subscribed and hit that bell icon so you know when these videos drop. As always thanks to my Patreon and Twitch subscribers. You guys make the channel happen in a big way. I had a lot of fun streaming this weekend. I stream mainly on Twitch now. I've kind of divided between that and YouTube, so YouTube is kind of separate from it. So if you follow me on Twitch, make sure that you stream, uh, they basically come in on the weekends because that's when I stream. And thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you are a Patreon supporter, you get access to, uh, to different awards, like the wallpaper that's on my computer behind me. And as always, thanks to everyone who uses my Amazon affiliate link whenever you buy anything through Amazon, computer related, as all that money goes back in the channel and enables me to do giveaways. And yes, I do have another giveaway coming. Anyway, guys, I'm going to continue to make these videos with you watch them or not but i hope you do and i hope to see every single one of you next time here on gear inc seriously i'm so excited for the next ryzen cpus it's going to be fantastic i just don't know if i'm going to do 12 core or wait for 16. and then in terms of uh blah, blah that's a that's an error was forgot what i was gonna say and i don't have a script today so here's an outtake for you